What's going on YouTube? Clayky's all back again, and today we're going to be covering all of the shitstorm that's been happening in regards to Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. I'm going to be giving you guys my opinion, what I'm going to be doing in order to, you know, act upon what's happening, and then catch up everybody on what has been going on and why the game, I feel, is on a trajectory that's going down, and it's time to make a video like this to cover it. So the first problem we're going to look at here is the actual unit of choice ticket summoning. Like the actual summons we can make with unit of choice tickets, right? So in the JP version, all the five star bases that were actually out uh, into the game are in that summoning pool. Uh, so as soon as it came out, you could summon Tidus, Sephiroth, Cloud, whoever you wanted, that was going to be an option for you. And what they've done in Global is they've now gotten rid of that and you can only summon units that have gotten their seven star upgrade or banner units that have already had their banner taken away so for example uh with livid chantoto and the shadow lord that are out right now you're not supposed to be able to pick them until their banner has ended and then they will go into the pool these are changes i have no idea why the hell they made them i think it takes enjoyment out of the game because i know people out there who've been wanting sephiroth for avia things like that they just want to spend their tickets and get them there is zero reason for this change unless there's something in the future where for some reason this change actually matters because they did state they're trying to make the unit of choice ticket a little bit different for global but so far it's all been negative changes like nothing has been more positive for the global player it's all been negative so there's that then they also uh only allowed us to get one unit of choice ticket out of the king mog shop when it first came out for us as compared to the japanese version so for us we had to spend 150k king mog currency to get one unit of choice ticket um, there is supposed to be, well, if we follow the JP way, which I think if you're copying the unit of choice ticket system, it should be always beneficial to the player when you make changes as opposed to beneficial way for the company. So in the JP version, the actual, the unit of choice ticket campaign came out in the King Mog shop when we had, remember our global anniversary too, when we had the King Mog shop for the, uh, actual FFBE units, you know, CG Sakura, CG uh last well etc well it came out then and then it was there for squall and then it was there for the livid uh Chantota, like it is for us however they had one uh unit of choice ticket with king mod currency for one thousand so pretty much a freebie one to two runs or most people will get them that ticket so it was pretty much a freebie one and then you could grind out for the 150k well that was taken away from us and i think at that moment that's when i decided something had to change that on top of compressed on top of the fact that they decided, hey, we're going to limit the summoning pool. Um, we're not giving out as many unit of choice tickets in the beginning as JP did. And then they take away the 1K option. It drove me to act. So I contacted, immediately I contacted my Gumi people I could, my Square Enix people I could, and I start trying to beg for them. Like, you guys have no idea how bad this is for the game. People use unit of choice tickets. It's their only way of obtaining units. It's their only way of... You know, catching up to the seven star meta because for a lot of people the seven star meta is unreachable because they're unlucky uh they don't spend all the game they have to have a way of actually keeping up with the meta and that's what the unit of choice tickets are really there for is to help with seven stars so to my knowledge it was just a greedy play and we had heard nothing from gumi whatsoever after they took away this 1k ticket i do want to point out that eventually jp even got three unit of choice tickets in the king mog but that's way later down the road so keep that in mind as we progress through global to see if we can kind of keep up with them um, so there was no word from them. Uh, they talked to me, uh, privately telling me, you know, they can't really talk much. Obviously these people can't, they've signed NDAs. They can't tell me much of anything. Uh, but I, I let them know. It's like, Hey, this is a really bad idea. You can't do this. This like, I don't normally reach out like this. The last time I did was the 4599 rainbow cash deal. And we all know how bad that was. So I, I think this is actually worse than that because that was a choice that players can make that are spenders. This is a choice that affects the games in volumes at farther on as we go down. So I reach out to them and, and, you know, I said, we need more communication. Perhaps if you're at, if you're wanting to add this ticket in somewhere else, you know, there should be an announcement about that, right? There should be, you should be telling us why it's different and, and why, because they're obviously aware that we know about JP. They make a lot of their decisions, global upgrades, things like that to try to get us to pull on these banners, even if the upgrades aren't that great. Um, but then in the game, of course, uh, we had this little bundle pop up. Uh, the, it wasn't a bundle you could buy, but you know, in the, the I'll, I'll show a picture. You know, in the the King Mog shop, uh, the King Mog, um, it's not King Mog, excuse me, the little Moogle that sits on the side of the bar in the main menu, and he like he shows like little um, update pictures. Well, on that picture was a bundle, and in that bundle, it had Lapis, a ten plus one ticket, and of course, a unit of choice ticket was in there. 
And that made people lose their minds. Because essentially they were thinking that Doomie had taken away our 1k easy to obtain for everybody unit of choice ticket. And they had thrown it into a cash bundle. Which was obviously locked behind actual money because it also included Lapis in the deal. As you can see with like the little Lapis there. So people lost their minds. In my opinion, that was always going to happen. Uh, I do believe that unit of choice tickets should be going to people who spend money. I think a lot of people complain about bundles not having any value. Uh, but then adding unit of choice, I think unit of choice is the most valuable thing in the game. Period. When it comes to any kind of items. Um, as far as summoning, for sure. And so putting that in the bundle is good. So I, you can't complain, in my opinion, that the bundles are bad. Please change them, Gumi. Stop being so stingy. And then Gumi puts a unit of choice ticket into the, the, the bundle... Um, and then you complain that it's in there, right? Like, it, it. I think that bundles and paywalls are separate from what they do with free-to-play. Anyway, that's that's a whole other argument. Uh, eventually, they, so they went nuts. So the fire is building. Like, Gumi and Square Enix, the, the fire on Reddit and the fire in the community, Facebook, everything is raging. And then finally, uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus does make a statement. They state that they've heard us, that they are going to be releasing a second uh, unit of choice ticket. Uh, sometime later this month, and then on the monthly basis, we're supposed to be getting two as of now. So essentially, if you keep saving those up those two, it's going to take you a while, uh, but in five months, you're going to be able to summon whatever unit you want, if that's the only way there is to obtain them for, you know, gameplay-wise. Now, we don't know what type of uh, way we're going to have to be able to get this ticket. Uh, it said through gameplay, so it's not going to be in a bundle, I do not believe. That doesn't make any sense, especially a paid bundle. What do you, can you play for money? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm hoping it's in a raid... An expedition reward, maybe like the top expedition reward, or um, perhaps given out through a login special like we did when we got the first ones. So that was good that they actually communicated that. Now, it took way too long. I mean, it took days and days of everybody being angry, stressed out. I don't understand why it took this long, which leads me to actually believe that possibly they had no intention of adding that. I, I don't want to say that because that sounds really negative, but maybe the screams and outrage actually forced them to put it back in. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that happened. So, after all of that, I had decided, before I get to the next part that's happened today, I have decided I will not be spending any more money in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius until I see how that unit of choice ticket is going to be implemented into the game. Um, I'm going completely free to play. I will not be buying Lapis, Amazon Coins, anything like that, until I decide, not, not the, the masses, not Reddit, not Facebook, me personally, that the unit of choice ticket is correct in the way that it's being implemented to the game. I will not be spending any more. I'm not saying you guys should do that. I'm not saying anybody should do what they do whatever they want. But you, I have to do something in order to make them understand. Me and everyone else just typing it up on forums, getting angry at Goomy, saying F Goomy this, screw Square Enix that, isn't going to get our point across to the people who don't read those forums. You know what will get our point across when when, when action is taken. So that, that's my act. That's my personal things. And I will state otherwise if that changes. For full uh, transparency, I already have 35,000 Lapis uh, on my account. And this was from when I was summoning with Livid Shantoto and Shadow Lord uh, the week before. So you can check my video. I have not added any more. I will not be adding any more. That will be there for summoning if I need to because I've already spent the money. I mean, it's, the Lapis is there. They already have my money. So I'm going to spend it how I want. I don't... I, I'm just hoping they change that. But then... To put icing on the cake, to keep it going, to keep it rolling, they uh, released a patch last night. Uh, or, or the maintenance happened last night, and then we get into today. And the unit of choice ticket pool was updated with Livid Chantoto and Shadow Lord. The problem with this being is it shouldn't be released until the banner's gone. Um, and I do believe that's next week, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think it's next week. Something like that. Whenever 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 the unit whenever Livid Chantoto and Shadow Lord are supposed to be added, will be when the banner's actually off. So that's that's going to be for every five star base that comes out. So Heo. Uh, anybody else that comes out, remember they won't be added to the pool until their banner is gone to the unit of choice ticket. But they were there. So users began to summon for them because they thought, hey, they're here, let's do that. They immediately shut down. Gumi shut the game down, went into emergency maintenance to change this, revert this change. So they shut the game down for an emergency maintenance to stop people from summoning units, which they should already be able to summon because of Japan, the way that Japan worked, and it doesn't make any difference. Like, it makes no difference. I... I I guess for the impatient people. I guess that's who they're aiming for. It didn't make zero difference to me. Um, and they shut the game down. They went to maintenance. But there is a silver lining here. So that's negative, negative, negative. Silver lining. Their Twitter actually, and I'm assuming their Facebook too, their social media has actually kept us updated on what the emergency maintenance was about, what was going on, how long it would take, and when everything got resolved. So 
everything's going to be shitty after here, but at least look upon that for at least the communication was there. We knew why there was emergency maintenance. We got updates on it way better than we ever had before. So uh, the reason I bring this up is change kind of happened there, right? Communication came out more. It was immediate when the emergency maintenance went down. They told us the reasons for it. Hey, that's cool. So emergency maintenance happens. And they are like, holy shit, nobody, no, you can't use Livid Chantoto. You can't use it on Shadow Lord. We got to get him out of there. So emergency maintenance ends, but players found that when they try to log in, their accounts were suspended. So if you would end up using your unit of choice to get for Shadow Lord or Livid Chantoto, your account was suspended, meaning you couldn't log into the game. And the reason being is they had to go into your account and remove Livid Chantoto or your Shadow Lord from the game uh, to fix your account. I personally have no problem with this. I do know my boy Hal was really angry about it. Um, it's just, I, I just think at a certain point, there are certain things to be angry about and certain things you can't. So I think the thing to be angry at is why the, the heck, why the fuck would you give, why, okay, you messed up, right? Gumi and Square Enix, you guys messed up by allowing people to be able to do that. And it's only like a week early or a couple days. I don't know if the banner ends this Friday or the next week. Why would you, why? Like, why would you change that? It's, it's only a little bit, and it's not like they're breaking the game. That's going to be available to them in a very short amount of time. So just leave it there. Uh, you're, you're wasting time doing this, man. There's so many other bugs and fixes that need to be fixed. Then you taking down emergency maintenance, suspending people's accounts to be able to get in there and fix this and revert all these changes, meaning they need to get their materials back, their unit of choice tickets back, their cactuars. Everything they spent needs to be put back into their account when you take this away, which they said they're going to do, by the way. Um, when it could be fixed on bugs that actually matter, like the friend list, or, uh, the game just randomly shutting down, connection issues, uh, things, you know, when you try to read the story and it just says map 2045 error or whatever. How about we fix those? The one of the biggest gripes I have right now with Gumi, besides the unit of choice ticket number one, and I do believe this is Gumi and Square Enix together, is you guys, if anything, is good for the player. If anything benefits the player over what the company wants it to be, it is immediately fixed. You guys snap it out like you couldn't believe the work, you get like mounds of troves of workers come out of nowhere and they fix that problem like you wouldn't believe. You get the best coders in the world. But if it is a problem that's been outstanding, such as the friend list right now, uh, the, the search function, any of that, where the game, eh, it doesn't really affect our bottom line. Eh, we don't really need to deal with that. It takes forever for you to fix it. And there have been countless times where that's happened, including when you could run away from the uh, trio boss where you get to the blood moon, you could run away, insta fix. As soon as they figured out, they fixed it. They knew exactly what they needed to do. Now, I'm not saying that the, it's, certain things are easier to fix than others, but that's just something, I, it, just ter it just adds up, right? Like, normally you can look past that and let it brush off your shoulder. Ah, I feel you. It keeps happening, but that's okay. But it keeps compounding and compounding and compounding to the point to where you guys are showing bad, poor business etiquette. And people are losing faith in you and this great community we've built and we have. What, what are you doing, man? I just want to wake up. I tell, I tell, I'm telling my community this on my streams and my friends. I just want to wake up and not have any of these problems happen. Not have to feel like I have to defend you. Not, uh, I'm talking to the community and Gumi and Square Enix at the same time. Where it's like, there's so much negativity where I have to defend what you guys have done, but also don't want the company to go under. Because I know that it's a good game. Everybody loves the game. Everybody enjoys the game. There's just a lot of bullcrap going on right now. And it just needs to stop. Like, just, just stop doing all this why did you have to revert the changes what is so important that you had to rip people's accounts open and tear that livid chantoto out of there even though they spent actual unit of choice tickets which will be usable when she hits the banner which is not even at max a week away that you had to do all that yet you couldn't be spending all that on fixing the friend list adding new content to the game maybe a new a new event or something you know i don't know maybe 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 your developers can work on that instead of your coders working into fuck people's accounts over i don't know i i, I don't want to be too harsh but at the same time it's gotten to the point where now i am revoking my money i am not putting my money in until i feel, see changes happening you can choose to do that if you want to or not uh that is completely up to you I'll, uh as long as you're having fun you're having fun some of you guys don't this doesn't even matter to you um, I do want to point out that the suspended players accounts were given back to them within a hasty manner I think it was like within an hour after they announced that hour or two it was given back to them uh, I don't know what shape it was given back to them because I don't know if they made like if you had one Livid Chantoto and you had another and you fuse it together that they unfuse and give you this the uh, you know normal six star base Chantoto if you use your unit of choice tickets to make a seven star I don't know about all that or if they got all their cactuar back and whatever uh, but at least it was quick I mean and, and they and again they said that on Twitter that uh, it was back but dear God, come on, guys. Just just stop with all of this. 
talk to us. Explain if if you guys have all these update videos, which we haven't seen the one for this month, which I'm looking forward to. Explain why the unit of choice ticket is different. I don't know why that's hard. I don't know why that's bad. Explain why you didn't put the 1K one into the King Mog shop. Because I personally don't have a problem with grinding 150k for the for the unit of choice. I, I have not spent all my energy this first week. I have not. I've used all four star bases. I have four four star bases from the ban uh, the banner, and I take a friend with me, obviously, and I take a carry unit into elite, and I almost have enough to finish it off. And that's in the first week. I'm pretty sure we're only in the first week, so Liv and Chantilly and them shouldn't even be on the banner uh, unit of choice banner till next week. So I, it's just a week away. Anyway, guys, I'm fed up. It hurts. It, it, I'm a guy that likes to breed positivity. You guys know that. But at some point, something's got to give. Um, I don't know, guys. I, I'm just hoping it gets better like all of you. I'm hoping I log on and things get easier. Things get easier to cover. I don't have to try to fight and just feel like I'm getting kicked around by the community because, because guys keep messing up. Just stop it. Uh, but yeah, that, that's an update, guys, on what I'm doing to try to try to combat it, and hopefully they end up changing things around. If you were missing out on all those updates, uh, here you go. Hopefully this update video help, uh, helped you guys understand that, and uh, I'll be releasing more FFB content and streaming it more often, of course, uh, but that's, those are the changes I'm going to be making. So, Gumi Square Enix, if you watch this video, you know, just know that I love the game, I love the community, I want everybody to succeed, I want everybody to have fun, there's some changes that need to be made, even at the just the working level, because how could you let, how could your coders allow that to be in the game? And that's not, it's not like it's just one little problem, right? It keeps happening and happening and happening. Something needs to change. Thank you guys for watching the video, and we'll catch you guys next time.